Okay, to get started, I just added a clip to my timeline and I'd like to zoom into this boat. Let's begin by going up to the Effects tab, which is located in the top right corner of the screen. This will open up this panel over here, so next, type Transform into the search box. Then drag the Transform effect onto the clip you'd like to add your zoom to. Okay, now make sure that clip is selected on the timeline so you can see its Transform effects settings. In here, first drag this marker on the timeline to when you want to start zooming in. Then click this stopwatch with the plus sign to create a starting keyframe for the zoom animation. This way, Kenden Live knows we want to start zooming in at this point. Next, move the playhead forward to where you want your video to be fully zoomed in by. Once again, click the stopwatch with the plus to create another keyframe. Now, Kenden Live will know this is where our zoom ends. Since we want to be fully zoomed in at this keyframe, you'll need to drag the word size to the right to zoom into your desired amount. Alternatively, you can click the size's percent value and type in a number manually. Alright, this is zoomed in now, but it'd be nice if our subject was in the center of the frame. To reposition our footage, drag the X to the side to move it horizontally. Likewise, you can drag the Y to move the footage up and down. Okay, now when I play this back, we have a nice looking zoom in. To change the speed of the zoom, just drag that last keyframe you created closer or further away. Since I moved mine closer, it's going to speed up my zoom. Next, let's say you want to zoom back out later on. To do this, move the playhead to where you want to start zooming out, and click that same stopwatch plus button to create a new keyframe. For the next step, we're going to switch things up a little bit and select this very first keyframe. Then move the playhead to where you want to be fully zoomed out by. Now this keyframe is different. This time we're going to click the Create Duplicate Keyframe button, which will create a copy of that very first keyframe, which will set our footage back to its original size. And this time when I play it back, my footage zooms out when it hits those last two keyframes. Okay, those are the basics, but if you want to make your zoom more smooth, you'll want to select the second keyframe and use this drop down to change it from linear to smooth. Now, when I play this back, my zoom's smoother. We can do the same thing with our zoom out by selecting the second to last keyframe and changing that to smooth as well. Okay, I think this looks better now, so as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.